I have long promised to do more videos about 9-11, and it turns out the critical comment highlighted in this video was complaining because I didn't accept specific things he's arguing, which were reported on TV the day of 9-11 and about other theories related to 9-11. Before we begin, I want to address the trend of misrepresenting the points I'm trying to make. First thing I want to say is that there is reality, and that reality exists regardless of what the U.S. government says or doesn't say. And also that reality exists regardless of what mainstream media and alternative media reports or doesn't report. So the first thing I ask is, can we agree on that? Because too many people have been arguing that I'm arguing the government's official version. When the reality is that I've been arguing from day one that President Bush lied about why we were attacked on 9-11. The 10-year anniversary of the 9-11 attacks is approaching, so these things really should be addressed. Things need to be cleared up, and focus needs to be on what is real. I hope you will view the upcoming videos with an open mind and not shut off your thinking. Don't allow misdirection, which dominates the public discourse, to fool you. The media has pushed narratives which are misdirecting many people. And also, the framing of the issue by the so-called truth movement. The phrase, official story, is a construct of the so-called truth movement and it frames the argument as if there are only two schools of thought about the 9-11 attacks. Please take a look at the facts. There are things the 9-11 truth movement constantly omit and which mainstream media has omitted. And I would argue that the latter heavily influenced the former. My next video will show how self-censorship within elite circles contributed greatly to the misdirection of focus. Misdirection away from answering why the attack were carried out to questioning who the attackers may have been or how the attacks may have been carried out. And one of the main culprits is Dan Rather. And many truthers think Dan Rather did a good job and they thank him for reporting on 9-11. So that's a bombshell. Next video on this bombshell I've never reported before about 9-11.